Lead Generation Strategies, part of the Sticky Sales series. We once attended a sales seminar which talked about getting your prospects to jump through hoops. The first hoop would be large and easy to jump through, nothing complicated and easy to tackle. The next hoop would be smaller and more difficult to jump through, and so on. The hoops represent the commitments that a prospect needs to make before they buy your product or service. Generally, the first hoop is free. The next may also be free or exchanged for a small fee, referred to as a tripwire. And so the process goes on until you convince your prospect that what you offer is valuable enough for them to part with a large amount of their hard-earned cash. Generally speaking, there is no one magic formula to generate a ton of leads. If there were, we'd all be millionaires and there would be a lot of bright young marketing graduates looking to retrain. Granted, for some businesses, there are more effective ways than others. But on the whole, long-term effective lead generation comes down to a combination of the following seven criteria. One, define customer profile. Two, define target lists. Three, make contact. Four, present and qualify. Five, establish a referral system. Six, manage PR and blog campaign. Seven, create buying system. You need to employ all seven approaches in order to generate the right kind of know, like and trust building that will attract your ideal customers. Indeed, 80% of your time should be spent in using and perfecting this magic formula. In order to better understand why this blended approach makes sense, let us introduce the three C's of lead generation. One, cost. Two, credibility. Three, control. Each one of the lead generation trio offers you some advantage in one or more of the three C's. By using them all, you get the perfect mix. Let's look at these elements in three examples. In advertising, there is a potential high cost, often lower credibility, and high, in fact, ultimate control. You can turn the ad on and off when you choose. In fact, control is the best part about advertising. You can launch a targeted promotion on the day you want or need more leads, and then turn it back down again when you don't. In public relations, your costs can be low, and the credibility is high. Often, a tiny mention can bring more leads than a full-page ad in the same publication. Readers tend to love the third-party endorsement. Control can be low, as you can't really dictate when and if you will get any publication space. With referrals, costs can again be very low. Credibility can be low, dependent on the source of referral, but is more often high. Control is also out of your hands and based on your ability to educate sources properly. Each constituent part of the lead generation trio has pros and cons, but employed as a unit, they have the power to help you create the kind of marketing momentum that builds long-term success. From a tactical perspective, a marketer needs four crucial elements to make inbound lead generation happen. One, the offer. An offer is a piece of content that is perceived high in value. Offers include ebooks, white papers, free consultations, coupons, and product demonstrations. Two, landing page. A landing page, unlike normal website pages, is a specialized page that contains information about one particular offer and a form to download that offer. Third, call to action. A call to action, or CTA, is either text, an image, or a button that links directly to a landing page so people can find and download your offer. And four, form. You can't capture leads without forms. Forms will collect contact information from a visitor in exchange for an offer. If you look at the principle of supply and demand, you'll notice that when supply is limited, 
demand goes up. Scarcity has a psychological influence on us, making us want something even more if there isn't enough to go around. Scarcity is great because it creates a fear of shortage and thus a sense of urgency. Limited time offers are among the most popular in the scarcity category. Just think about your average car dealership. Practically every commercial is a limited time deal. Get 0% financing before it's gone. When something is of limited quantity, it suddenly becomes more unique or exclusive. In some studies, limited quantity or supply offers have outperformed limited time offers. Why? Because it's hard to tell when an offer of limited quantity would suddenly become unavailable while a time-based offer has a known end time. Limited quantity offers are great for not only getting people to say yes to your offer, but to avoid procrastination completely. Brian Halligan, CEO and co-founder of HubSpot, once said that, you can have a great offer with a bad title and no one will download it. But if you have an amazing title, suddenly everyone wants it. Yes, people do judge a book by its cover. If your offer is a piece of content, such as a white paper, ebook, or presentation, put your efforts into creating an amazing title. The internet has changed the way that technology buyers make purchasing decisions. These buyers are now much more proactive when seeking out solutions to business issues, relying less on the vendor's salespeople to provide the information upon which they base their decision. TechTarget and Google suggest that 95% of technology buyers conduct their own research online, starting with search terms about solving particular business issues. This takes the form of three phases. One, the awareness phase of the buy cycle when they are discovering how to solve XYZ. Two, consideration phase, where specific solutions and or vendors are researched. And three, the decision phase, where online behavior is characterized more by brand and comparison research. It's worth noting that around 70% of these browsers will go on to buy a related product or solution within the next year. As buyers learn more about the solutions that can solve their business issue, they start to narrow down their research and create a short list of potential vendors. It's at this stage that buyers indicate a willingness to engage with a vendor's sales team, i.e. after they've researched solutions and have an understanding of the competitive vendor landscape and offerings. Buyers these days are unreceptive to cold calls or uninvited sales pitches. But if vendors manage to get on the radar of prospective buyers during the awareness and consideration stages of the buy cycle, they stand a much better chance of being able to help shape the criteria for a purchase as well as influence budgets. Webinars are a great way to quickly generate new leads. All you need to host a webinar is a tool like GoToWebinar, which is free for 30 days, an idea for a presentation that your target buyer personas would enjoy, and a few hours to prepare. Almost any company can run webinars which their prospects would find useful. And once you've created your concept, it's just a matter of sending an email out to your contact database and promoting your webinar as best you can throughout your website. Most salespeople and marketers will have at least some experience using LinkedIn to market their product and organization. It's maybe through participating in groups, building their own personal networks, or something similar. Few have had much success with LinkedIn PPC campaigns or pay-per-click. However, if your company has at least one white paper or e-guide that is useful to your prospects, you can quickly set up a LinkedIn PPC campaign of your own. Your PPC campaign can be highly targeted, whether that means targeting people at specific companies 
or UK men aged 18 to 35 with web development skills currently at 50 to 100 employee companies. What's a landing page? It's a page that contains a form designed with one single purpose, to convert a visitor into a lead. Landing pages can help you to convert more visitors to your website into known leads, which you then have an opportunity to convert into sales. The more landing pages you have, the more opportunity you have to convert your visitors. So take a step back and have a think about the landing pages you've put together. Are there new ones you can create which are targeted towards specific personas, segments or new problems? Could you create a new offer which would convert a demographic which visits your website that is currently underserved? A call to action or CTA is any button, image or text on your website which inspires your visitors to take an action. Every page of your website should contain at least one CTA because every page of your website should have one purpose, an opportunity to convert. Take a look through your website and see if there are any pages that could be improved by adding an additional CTA or by revising an existing one. Could you test new copy in your CTAs to see if they perform better? Could you add a secondary CTA to some of your pages to convert visitors who aren't yet ready to take up your other offer? Over time, your customer avatar becomes outdated. Your target market is always moving. They're consuming content in new places, facing new challenges and encountering fresh problems. Not to mention, your company is moving too. Is the persona you were most focused on a year ago still the best one to target now? Are there additional personas you need to think about? Your marketing needs to adapt. Developing customer avatars isn't a one-off set it and forget it exercise. The most effective marketers will be constantly reviewing their buyer personas to ensure that the marketing material they're creating is still on point. It's amazing the impact that a regular review of your avatars can have on the efficacy of your overall marketing strategy. Holding regular complimentary breakfast seminars aimed at updating and building awareness of your products and services is an excellent and inexpensive way to generate leads. Whether it's a breakfast seminar or a lunch briefing, offering your prospects a relaxed environment where they can sit back, have a coffee and a croissant and listen to your proposition is generally a good way to start building rapport with a prospect. To get prospects to the breakfast seminar you will require a good lead generator, which could be a free downloadable report or something similar. We know we all want to do that mega blast thing and have it rain leads, but in reality that just doesn't work unless you're selling a low value, high usage, commoditized product. The more personal you can get, the better. You'll receive far greater results targeting 50 or 100 ideal prospects a month and reaching out with a personalized letter outlining one highly actionable idea than any other form of mass communication out there. If you want to work with CEOs of mid-sized manufacturing companies, then create a show where you interview successful CEOs of mid-sized manufacturing companies who just happen to be happy to share their journey to success with your listeners. Okay, maybe you don't have any listeners yet, but your guests don't need to know that. And while you're building your following, you'll be getting some valuable content that helps you build authority and just might land you in a conversation with a prime prospect.